Hi, this is Nick J. Barrett from VideotricksBlog.com. Now, you're staring at the LCD display window of a Toshiba Gigashot HD medium range camera. You can buy them for about £229, um, a little bit more in dollars. Now, the reason I'm putting these videos together is because I know that when I was searching for a camera to promote myself and my businesses, uh, I knew what I wanted to do with the camera and I wanted to kind of find details that I knew that the camera I was going to buy uh, was going to meet certain criteria. Um, you know, like certain things that I wanted to do with the camera, so I didn't want loads of copy, loads of kind of uh, long-winded copy trying to sell me. I just wanted to know, did it do this or did it do that? Did it have a manual exposure um, override? Did it have a manual uh, focus override, or was it all automatic? So what we're doing here, which may seem simplistic, but we're going through. Uh, every aspect of this camera so that you can kind of make an informed decision as to whether this camera is for you uh, and on this video we're going to be looking at the menu so what we're going to do is just go through the menu so that you can see what is listed in the menu in this particular video um, and then in other videos I will actually go into the individual topics and go into them in more depth so it's just to give you a kind of a complete picture of what this camera does um, you know because I don't think you're going to find every aspect of what a certain thing looks like when it's on as opposed to when it's off um, you're going to struggle to find that looking around the internet it's going to take quite some time so let's just jump straight in I'm clicking a little button on the back of the camera uh, which is called menu because that's where I want to start off so we're not going to go into any of these we'll do that on other, other videos so as you can see we have a setup um, tab and then there's a little jog wheel a little circular wheel on the back that you turn and then you have drive and album um, hard disk drive and that basically means that you can put things into their own albums if you like their own folders or you can put them straight onto the hard drive then you've got erase which basically just means erasing the whole hard drive because obviously this is a hard drive HD camera then you've got uh, continuous recording um, that's flicking between uh, that's for stills that's clicking between sort of taking one picture at a time or kind of taking multiple pictures after each other then you've got video quality there's three qualities um, one is uh, super high quality one, the other one is uh, high quality and the other one is standard play and there's about 5 megabytes difference between each one as you drop down it gets 5 megabytes less um, mm -hmm. then you've got white balance um, then you've got image stabilizer on then you've got wind noise reduction for the microphone then you've got mic sensitivity then you've got digital zoom and like I said in, in another video I'll show you what the digital zoom looks like as to whether it gets pixelated or whether it doesn't get so pixelated as other cameras then we've got metering mode which is the area of which it on the automatic exposure 
where it will actually kind of where it will take its light readings from the middle of the page from the middle of the picture i.e. on your subjects or whether it would take average readings from all over the picture to determine um, the exposure then we've got AF mode which I believe is um, is auto focus AF light assist which is it's got a little light on the front of the camera then you've got colour contrast sharpness LCD brightness and back to setup so that's it for this video uh, on the next video we shall be going into these actual uh, topics and seeing uh, what they actually look like ok this has been Nick Barrett from videotricksblog.com I shall speak to you soon